What's up guys? Good morning. Got my coffee. The convention center is actually behind me. Over there. Um, I'm actually walking around right now trying to look for a spot for the meetup. There's two spots I was thinking about, which is around the corner. Um, we're gonna check it out. And hopefully they can accommodate, I don't know, 10 people maybe. We'll see. All right, so here's the place, the brass taps. Again, the convention center is literally across the street that way. And just waiting for the establishment to open so I can speak to somebody. Okay, well, it's like they're not open yet. It's supposed to open at 11, it's like five past 11. Um, I'm gonna come back during lunch and hopefully, hopefully, we'll get something. Now I gotta look for something else. All right, cause that's the, that's the other place right there. It's called Bar, Bar 10, I don't know. It's probably gonna be expensive because it's a part of the um, the Marriott there. But I'll check that out later on also. Um, there's a couple more places which is further down that way on the other side of the convention center. All right, here we go, day two. TSF Another um, apparel warehouse They got shop talk here In kitchen Ooh Happy hour Heck yeah Alright guys, we are here at EconoTransfer.com Eye catching huge shirts, look at this guy Look how big the shirts are this is actually a long sleeve. All right, so they do a lot of vinyl transfers. All right, so they do have some rolls here that they're, they're selling. Some uh, specialty transfers. Uh, on their website, they do sell cutters like this one. Um, I think it's like a 24 inch. But got some samples here, it's pretty nice. This flock right here, that's flock. Got some reflective. We got MLK. <laughs> it's one of those specialty ones, right? This one right here is glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. But they got some uh, glittery stuff. Alright, so if you guys are looking for a different company that sells transfer vinyl, make sure you guys check out econotransfer.com. I'm tax exempt in Oklahoma. Okay. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Robert with Universal Laser. He's gonna explain this thing to me, how it was cut. So, Robert, go ahead. So, basically, we started off with a grayscale file. Um, the darkest peaks uh, or the canyons were black, and then the, the outermost surface was white. So, this was probably take about two or three passes to get the depth without losing the detail of that. Um, after that was finished, we coated it with a, uh, like a forgetting the word, it's a high build primer to build it up the smoothness of it. And then we came back and we lasered the highways and the uh, actual text and stuff like that. Wow, and that, and that was done with this? Uh, it, it's probably on a higher wattage universal laser. Okay, we'll get we need a little bit more wattage to do the depth. Uh, um, if we had a 50 watt laser, um, it's just not gonna go as deep in the material. Okay. Whereas 150 watts, we can do it in a couple passes. Okay. We don't want to do it all in one pass because we would lose all the detail. Right, okay. But any any of the depth and stuff like that, it's always probably wow. done on multiple passes just because one pass, the laser beam is just so hot, it's just losing all the detail. Right, okay. But that's a, that would be a killer file. That would have to be yeah. somebody that took it into Photoshop and did all the, the layers and stuff like that. Okay. Well, Robert, thank you. No Appreciate thank it. You. Once again, if you guys are looking for any laser systems, make sure you guys check out Universal Laser System. Okay, 
Yeah. Alright, this is cutting. Alright. This is vinyl. Look at the details on that. Did I scan you? Okay. Look at all the detail. You know who this guy is. <laughs> Look, he's he's following me. Look, he's following me. I was, like, I was like over there and I saw you and I was like, good one. I just saw him on if you guys can see him back there. That guy's a ninja. <laughs> oh, hey, I was here yesterday. Oh, I did the video. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, people were asking about this thing. The little bracket. Where can they get it? Okay. Alright, so for those of you guys that are asking about this little bracket for your press, how much is it? $35.95. So check out bwhopkins.com, ask for this guy, ask for Matt. He'll hook you up and um, who else sells these? Right now we have SPSI, okay. Midwest, Ninco. Oh, there you go. Go to our website, all the dealers are listed. There's about 125 dealers worldwide. So go to their website. Look at the dealers, there's probably one close to you guys. So um, make sure you grab one of these. These are dope. Here you go. Alright, oh, kick him, kick him. Uh -huh. <laughs> there we go. He said, he said, he said. We got everybody here. What's up guys? What's Possible. Up? Got Sin. Alright, so we're gonna go to the next one. Alright, so we're gonna go to the next one. Alright, so we're gonna go to the next one. Alright, so we're gonna go to the next one. Alright, so Alright guys, look where I'm at. I'm at the Gildan booth. I'm gonna ask them about that issue I had about the uh, the tags and the colors. Let's see if they can give us an answer. Alright guys, I just talked to Gildan. asked them about the issue I had with the tags, you know, from a couple of videos ago. Uh, they said they are going with the tagless tearaways, which will be the silver ones. But if you do see these silver tags, those are the new the new garments that use silver silver garments or whatever. Um, as far as the dye, he couldn't figure out the color va variations, he's not sure about it, but with um, the new Gildans, with the silver tags, those are going to be the new standards, so there might be a little bit of a variation as far as the color, but at the end of it, we're going to have the new ones, alright? Alright guys, we're here at the, the sauna booth. Um, we have Kelly here, she's gonna show you guys, or talk to you guys about their stuff, their own brand. So this is our most common one. This is the 720. What you're looking at is a uh, 5.2 ounce, 100% cotton. We have a variety of this um, type of style in a bunch of colors. I'll say more than 15 colors available on stock. Um, if you would like to go ahead and uh, use that one, you can also use it on a long sleeve. Same ounces, 100% cotton, variety of 15 colors. Um, we have more than uh, four locations. We have a location on Ontario, California, uh, Miami. We have another one on downtown LA. And um, we manufacture our own t-shirts. So we manufacture them in Honduras. So this is what we got. Our uh, labels are TR we label if you want to go ahead and uh, maybe use your own brand. If you guys are screen printers, just your brand and tear off the label away. Um, we can give you very good prices on a wholesale price. Right now, you guys are seeing these are all the 100%, uh -huh. and all the cuts are, as far as the fitment, are the Gildan type same fitment. Specs. So it's the same specs as the Gildan guys. You guys will like it. So let's go over to the blends here. Yeah. All right. So here's what we have on the blends. These are more of the the heather. The heather blends. Yes. We also have heather colors. Um, they are made out of 50-50. Uh, so it will be 50% cotton, 50% polyester. Um, it's same thing, 5.2 ounce. So um, you will find, for example, this is a heather charcoal. Um, if you wouldn't like that one, I can use a um, heather navy, and this will be what you guys are looking at. Heather okay. navy or heather burgundy available as well. Okay. Or Heather Royal. Nice. We also have this for women. Also, um, we do our safeties and we carry these type of style on the long sleeve. Okay. 
I see the safety stuff. Safeties. Uh, those are made same thing out of feathers, so 50%. And we carry one of this uh, on a hoodie, so you guys will be looking at something like that. Oh, it's nice. And it's a lightweight. It's a, a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt with a hoodie. As a t-shirt with a hoodie, correct. Nice. Okay. I know some of you guys are asking about tie dyes, so. And the tie dyes are never the same, right? As, no, there's always a very. Always, it's always different. Um, this actually is handmade, so ah. uh, we do it one by one. We grab it, and then they start rubbing and rubbing, and then that's how we get the uh, the, design the dyes. Right here. Okay. Um, we have it on uh, printed, or we have it on just regular, regular tie dye with no print on the front. Um, okay. We actually sell out to resorts like San Martin, Hollywood, Las Vegas, um, all the Bahamas and resorts, Orlando, all Las Vegas. I also have the kids ones over here. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if you guys saw it, but we got some onesies, regular tees for kids. So we have also um, these, but with the reflective tape. Um, they use these uh, instead of a vest, so okay. we already have it two and one t-shirt and a vest, long sleeve and short sleeve as well. Um, these are a 60-40 t-shirt, this is a 5.2 ounce, it's very light, and it's a 60-40. And uh, we also carry it for uh, ladies and men's. Oh, now, nice. um, also we have our own line, it's called Aztec. Is our own line. Uh, it's designed out of Mexico. Okay. Mostly like Mexico. So we have t shirts for women like this, and this is made out of foil. So there's a lot of screen printers that work with right. foil as well. It's this. Um, it's just basic Mexico okay. designs or uh, California print as well. Everything is made out of our own brand. Alright, guys, again, we're here at the sauna booth. Uh, the price point is very competitive. Again, if you guys wanted the same cut as the Gildan brands, if you want a lower price point, a very competitive price point, please check out Sauna here, all right? We gotta go. We're getting kicked out. Yeah, gotta get that. To see for a There's Matt right there. What's up? That's it. When I think about what to invest in in the business, like, it's investing things that can either transform on top of something or invest in things that can transform. All right, just hanging out with the folks here. We got Ryan, Ryan it, Sin, Hard and Hustle, and Matt and Shani. It's a good place. Barbecue. Old time Cooper's Pit and barbecue. It's great food. I think the stockyard is across the street. I don't know what's happening there, but it looks like uh, they got some stuff going on there. I don't know. I'm not sure if we're gonna check it out. My personal yeah, I, I don't know about no <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for day two of the ISS. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I try to get more footage of the floor. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna try to finish up the rest of the floor for you guys. If you guys have any questions or anything that you guys want to see in particular, put it in the comments below. I'll look at it first thing in the morning. And, and I promise you I'll do my best to answer those questions or try to get them on film at the ISS show. Alright, if you guys are going to be there tomorrow, if you guys can stay a little longer and just hang out with us, we're going to be at a place called the Brass Taps, which is literally across the street from the convention center, just a minute walking distance. Uh, the address in the description below. We're going to be there at 4.30. If you guys can make it, that will be great. If not, it's all good. We're just hanging out anyway. Well, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.